Hi everyone, and welcome to the movie section show. My name is Fariba, and earlier today we actually just got the first trailer for How to Train Your Dragon, the live action movie that's gonna be coming out next year. I'm super excited because, I mean, when the first original movie came out in 2010, I was probably just starting middle school, <laughs> which is like insane just thinking about it. And then of course, just seeing the evolution of the story, how it's actually one of the most emotional arcs that I've seen in a long time, especially with what happened in the third film um, with Toothless and Hiccup and how they had to separate. I mean, man, I, I mean, that's a that's a movie. This is a trilogy that, that that really knew how to display a very emotional film with very likable characters um, and doing so in a way that it really embodies the whole idea of friendship, even if it comes to, you know, the situation with regards to, you know, just the dangers that come with it. And again, uh, it's a very spectacular movie that I recall watching when I was a kid. The visuals are great. The story is great. The characters are great. I love how we have like kind of that Viking inspired uh, world that we have. So um, the fact that we are going to be getting a live action movie, I'm very excited about it. What's so funny is that next year, not only are we getting the live action movie, but we're also going to have, you know, Epic Universe and one of the actual theme parks in epic universe is going to be how to train your dragon so i'm super super excited like next year is gonna clearly be the year of the dragon um so yeah i'm very excited to see this film i know i've been following the actual filming updates for this for a long time um i did see the first images of hiccup um and it looks like pretty accurate to the animated movie and it seems so like it will uh, stick to that. I know Gerard Butler is in the movie as well, and he actually did the original voice for Stoic in the in, in the original movie. So yeah, I mean, I really want to see how Toothless looks like. I want to see how the other characters look like in this movie. So without further ado, let's get right down into the first trailer for How to Train Your Dragon live action. Pick up. Oh Which my god! This axe? That's good. Oh, that's accurate. All of us with you. Dad, I can't kill dragons. Uh, oh my god, that's really actually done. But you will. <laughs> I'm a Viking. I'm a Viking. It's okay. I won't hurt you. first teaser trailer for how to train your dragon the live action movie i mean we don't get a whole lot from this trailer so there is a lot more we can really dive into but i think there's two key things that we can talk about is what are the visuals showing us how is it you know gonna be faithful to the actual original film and just my overall impression so that's actually three things but but yeah i mean overall just just looking at the trailers i'm very excited i there was two things that I was very curious about going into this, you know, film is one being how is Grab Butler going to look like? Because if you actually know how Grab Butler looks in real life and compare that to Stoic, the vast in the movie, they're, they're very different. So I was very surprised to see how very accurate he looks in this movie to his character with the full beard, with the whole costume, the layers. Um, so I did not expect that whatsoever. I just thought, okay, maybe they're, they're going to have to readjust his look just to be a little bit more closer to Gwar Butler's figure. But it looks like they're going to stick close to the movie. And then not only that, but then seeing the visuals of the dragons and Toothless, very much basically a clear, uh, re like a clear, re like, like a, it, it's basically a clear, uh faithful visual of how toothless looks like in the original like i mean you can just see the texture of those visuals now i'm, I'm gonna assume that they're still going to finish off some uh tweaks of the look but honestly it looks really good to look toothless looks really good it seems very accurate to the actual original movie even some of the dragons that we see earlier in the trailer look very accurate so i mean again i mean there isn't a lot more i can go out off of this because it just is a very short trailer a lot of the sequences that we see are basically coming from the first 
30 minutes of the, of the original film kind of that's it's just roughly um so there isn't a whole lot more to it it does seem as though that they are going to be very faithful to the original film um the actor who is playing hiccup i can't remember what his name is but i know he was in the black phone with ethan hawk um but he seems pretty good as hiccup so far although again i, I want to see a little bit more before i can even make any you know decision out of it but honestly it looks really good i'm very excited to see this film um i don't know if i can <laughs> i don't know if i'll be able to handle the, the the whole connection touch again with toothless and hiccup i mean oh my god i like toothless is like almost like my child so it's like oh, i'm so excited to see this film i look forward to seeing more of the footage i know that's probably gonna be it from what we're gonna get this year because again the year is about to end very soon so um but we're probably gonna get a new trailer by next year of course so but yeah i mean that's all i have to say about this trailer it looks really promising and really great first look of the film but what are your thoughts having seen the teaser trailer for how to train a dragon the live action movie what are your thoughts about seeing the first look of toothless do you think it is very accurate to the original movie do you like it do you not like it or do you still need a little bit more of the footage to kind of make up your mind what do you think about the actor who is playing hiccup here i mean if you're familiar if you're not familiar with his work i would say watch the black phone but if if you you know I mean, it's just overall what are your thoughts seeing hiccup here the actor who is playing hiccup do you think he is basically able to live up to the original character um your first impressions of him so on and so forth as well as the first look of Gerard butler we see him as stoic um and just about any other thoughts and concerns that you have having now seen the first footage let me know your thoughts below make sure to like and subscribe